Hey all, today we are going to discuss about focal epithelial hyperplasia which is known as Heck disease, right? It is the most contagious of oral papillary lesions. So basically, this is most communicable, you can say, or spreadable kind of disease. Oral papillary, papillary means a lesion which is having finger-like finger like projections right this disease heck disease is caused by human papilloma virus induced which will induce epithelial proliferation in a particular region basically so that's why the name focal epithelial hyperplasia means increase in the number of cells basically which is caused by human papilloma virus HPV and more commonly by the HPV 13 and HPV 32. These are the subtypes of human papilloma virus which are suggested as the causative agent of Heck disease basically, right? This is endemic among children, right? But in adults it is also seen but the evidences are very rare. Minimal evidence of residual oral lesions are seen in adults. But it is more common in children. Right? In this condition, there will be extreme acanthosis. Acanthosis means increase in the number of layers of epithelial cells or more precisely the prickle cells present in the epithelium. Right? So these cells are increased in the number, right? Now the clinical features of focal epithelial hyperplasia, right? It occurs more commonly in children, primarily as read as we have read earlier, right? And may occur in young or middle-aged adults, right? There is no gender predilection. The site of greatest involvement, most commonly, it occurs on labial or buccal or lingual mucosa but it can also occur on gingival gingiva or tonsillar area right so gingival lesions or tonsillar lesions can also be seen in this disease the lesion is basically broad based or it is slightly elevated right as we know that it is a papillary lesion so there will be a projection projections will be there so it can be elevated with a broad based Right? It is papillary in, in nature frequently, but it can be smooth surfaced with flat topped lesions. Right? Now the color. Color is basically normal, similar as our normal mucosa, you can say, but it can be pale or white in some conditions. Right? The size of the lesion is 0.3 to 1 centimeter. Right? But what happens? When a lot of lesions combine together, they form a bigger structure. They cluster together and form a bigger structure. A plaque maybe is formed in that area. And that gives an appearance of cobblestone or fissured kind of appearance to the lesion basically. Right? Now the histological features of Heck disease or focal epithelial focal epithelial hyperplasia the name suggests its histological features itself right now the focal acanthosis means increase in the number of cell layers hyperplasia will be there increase in the number of cells will be there right you can uh, you will be able to see this increase in the number of cells of the epithelium right in histology so what happens there is an increase in the number of cells but that the thickened mucosa will extend upwards as there will be papillary projections right so there will be growth in the, in the upward direction right legional reti ridges are at the same depth as the normal reti ridges right as we know that there is there is a layer of epithelium and there is 
रेटी रिजेस ऑल्सो राइट और रेटी पेक्स रेटी रिजेस मोर प्रिसाइसली राइट एंड देर इज अंडरलाइन कनेक्टिव टिश्यू इफ यू कंसिडर इट एज एपिथीलियम राइट सो दीज रेटी रिजेस विल बी एट नॉर्मल पोजिशन राइट इफ दिस इज द डिसीज एरिया फोकल हाइपर प्लेजिया इज इन दिस एरिया विल बी देयर बट द डेप्थ ऑफ द रेटी रिजेस विल बी एट द नॉर्मल रेटी रिजेस राइट इट वॉन्ट चेंज हाइपर प्लेजिया इज ओनली इन द अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन इट एक्सटेंड्स अपवर्ड बेसिकली राइट देर विल बी वाइड एंड रिजेस राइट क्लब शेप्ड समटाइम्स Now the superficial keratinocytes means epithelial cells, basically, will show some abnormalities. Like it will have coelocytic changes, or it can transform into a mitosoid cell. Right? Coelocytic changes means there will be a clear cytoplasm. Right? With with an eccentric nucleus basically right the word koilos in greek koilos in greek means hollow so there will be a basically hollow space with an eccentric nuclei right these these structures are suggestive of human papilloma virus hpv infection right so this is the uh, change or type of cells which are seen commonly in human papilloma virus infected individuals right now the mitosoid cells these are basically mitotic mitotic structures which are seen right the normal cells are transformed into these structures right the superficial ones now the differential diagnosis of uh, focal epithelial hyperplasia are squamous papilloma varicose vulgaris condyloma keratoacanthoma squamous papilloma you can uh, you know that it is also associated with human papilloma virus right so these are the differential diagnosis of um, focal epithelial hyperplasia now the treatment part so you can do is a conservative excisional biopsy to rule out whether it is a focal epithelial hyperplasia or any of these uh, conditions above conditions that is squamous papilloma varicose vulgaris condyloma etc but you should always consider and remember that it may be an oral manifestation of aids which is very important point right you should remember thank you